out my Indian Oracle cards. We're looking for energy of the week. So it's going to be the week following that Virgo full of man. All right. So we have meditation. And number three says service and sacrifice lead to success. Um, I feel like that full moon, that Virgo full moon we just had definitely gave us all some alignment into the service path, right, of our lives. All right, energy oracle. Let's look at the challenge or obstacle. We have the thinking woman. I think that's so interesting, right? Challenge or obstacle, the thinking woman, and then meditation is here. Uh, are you struggling to meditate? Like, are you struggling with, like, uh, racing thoughts? You know, that type of energy um, when you're trying to meditate. I definitely get this energy like you're you're overthinking something. The world card is going to be lesson learned to help you with the challenge or obstacle. The world card is giving me a little bit of Saturn energy. It's giving me, like, follow the rules type of energy. Um, it's also giving me the energy like you you may, like, someone could be watching you, Virgo. Someone could be watching you. Um, it could be, too, like, um, you could be, like, a boss, right? Like, people look up to you or they watch how you do things. It could be, like, a mother, too. Like, you could be a mom and you have children and the children are watching you do a certain thing, right? And then look at that happy family, the confirmation on the bottom. Um, happy family is definitely like that ten of cups that you see in tarot where it kind of gives you, like, happy home, happy family card. Um, indecision is on the bottom. So I feel like you are struggling with a decision that has to do with family. And it could have something to do with, like, um, following the rules or, like, um, having... You know, children, someone who's watching you, Virgo. All right, so we're going to use modern, which is tarot. Let's cut why meditation is your energy of the week. Seven of Wands, healthy boundaries, protecting something. King of Swords is here. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We could be dealing with an air sign. Um, but I think it's like about speaking truth or taking action with truth. And Two of Pentacles is like trying to make something work. Trying to balance something out. Trying to get your footing in a situation. You could be meditating on speaking truth. Should you say something or should you not? You could be meditating on keeping something a secret. All right, the thinking woman, challenge or obstacle. We have Leo energy coming out strongly with the strength card. We also have four of pinnacles is about needing to let something go. Four Pinnacles always holds on to something really tightly because they feel like there's nothing else coming. They think this is it. So that's why they hold on to it so tightly. It's like Spirit saying you're going to have to pull from some inner strength to release your grip on something, Virgo. The Devil card is here. That could be what needs to be the grip that needs to be released, right? I do see the two people bound at the Devil's feet in the fire. It does talk about codependency. To be dealing with a Capricorn. If you're not dealing with any of those energies, I would go look on your chart, Virgo. Where is Leo and Capricorn for you? All right, so the world card, we have Six of Cups. Um, Six of Cups could be reunion energy. It could also be that gift, like I said earlier, but the energy that I'm picking up now is um, it's also childhood memories, childhood memories. And I'm kind of getting this energy, Virgo, like maybe you have little people um, that are watching you, right? Like how do, how do you do things? How, how do you make this happy home, happy family? The lovers is here. So this is an interesting card to be coming out. Virgo, you could be on um, a very specific journey 
you could be on this, you know, same spiritual path that I'm on. Um, but the lovers is really not this fantasy fairy tale about these two people that like, I don't know, it looks like they're on the moon and they're just, you know, oh, everything's great. Um, no, it's actually more of um, every day, every day a choice of choosing to love and heal yourself so that you can be a better partner, right? Um, so that you can break away from things like codependency. Um, I think you're definitely having to make that choice now in a family situation, Virgo. And again, I'm kind of getting this energy. For some of you, it could be a gift, like you're getting this gift to be able to heal the situation. Um, but for some of you, I'm kind of getting like there's there's little eyes, there's people that see, and it's like they need to know how to do something or how you do something. Look at that big confirmation. Page of Swords comes out. Thank you, Spirit. So Page of Swords is that, you know, somebody's watching, right? Somebody's, that's literally what the card means. Google it, I promise. <laughs> somebody's watching, we're going to all right, happy family is the outcome. It is number four. This could be like your goal, what you're trying to manifest, um, like everyone getting along, everyone getting together. Um, this could be like an energy where maybe you're not able to see someone because people aren't getting along, right? Something like that. You have page of cups. It's the I'm sorry card. It is like a small offer is made. The chariot, cancer energy, and is the ride or die partner. It also says, like, don't be afraid to move quickly. And I think that's the energy because then you have Ten of Swords. And Ten of Swords is a completion to a painful life cycle. So it's like, and I'm sorry could change everything. On the bottom is the death card, Scorpio energy, um, death and rebirth, right? Bringing an end to something that has been painful. Um, there are so many major arcanas here, right? The devil, the lovers, the chariot, the death card, um, Gemini energy, Cancer energy, Capricorn energy, Scorpio energy. So definitely a family situation. Definitely could be overthinking something, holding on to something too tightly. Having to really dig deep to release your grip on something. It could be anything. It could be like your grip could be on a person. Your grip could be on a belief or an idea. Whatever it is, it's not, not serving your greater good any longer. It's time to release it. All right, guidance for Virgo, cleansing waters, purification activates vibrant life force. Crossing bridges, it's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. Miracles, expect the wondrous to emerge. And voyage of the heart is on the bottom. Love flows through you and to you, Virgo. All right, Numenology Oracle to close it out. Um, I feel like it's definitely family situation, healing, bringing a closure or completion to something. Um, definitely getting like that mending fences, cleansing. Emotions are running high. Your hard work is paying off. Moon, Moon, and Capricorn. Be bold and make the first move, Virgo. You have cardinal moon and nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon. So in other words, like if you thought you couldn't work this out, Virgo, or like you couldn't fix it or you couldn't something, so you're saying no, like you can still make a small offer. And whatever it is that you have to do, Virgo, it's minor, it's small. Page of Cups is a very tiny little energy. It could definitely just be an I'm sorry, let's move forward, right? adjustments are required third quarter moon is on the bottom all right virgo that's it i hope that was helpful